So I'm starting off with four of these wooden crates from Dollar Tree. I have used these in my last video and I actually like them. I'm gonna go in with this paint that I also have used and I actually complained about it, but I'm gonna give a couple coats and see how it turns out. That's how it naturally looks, like a matte, dryish chalk kind of um, color. So while I let those dry, I'm going to be using this poster board. And I'm just going to take and cut me a couple scripts. Um, I don't have to measure yet really because I'm going to be using very small squares. So they look pretty dry to me. 
I'm going to take these little foam cubes that I finally cut up and measured just as dividers for the little um, crates. So if they don't fit exactly the way I want them to because I don't want anything sticking out of the crate, I'm just going to trim it down a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in and add some hot glue just to give it a little more sturdiness so I know it doesn't move. I thought to use the wood glue, but I didn't think it would stick with the styrofoam, so I didn't even bother to try it. And y'all know my hot glue gun is my best friend, <laughs> so I chose to use hot glue. You can also see um, the little glue stains from the manufacturer. Even though I painted all of them, but I'm not going to pop that because they're not going to ship. Then once I get it to fit the way I want it to fit, I'm going to dab the white portion with the um, black paint just so that it blends better.
a lot of you might be like, um, oh, they're not um, straight, they're cricket, they don't line up evenly, and that is fine because I'm not stacking them the way I have them now. That is strictly just so I can get finished and get them out the way. So now that I got all of that done, I'm ready for my next step, connecting my shelves. So once I decide how I want to stack my um, shelves or crates, I'm going to go in and add some wood glue to just one side. And that's the side that I plan to stick together. Now doing this, I actually ended up putting a lot more wood glue just because I wanted them to really stick. But once I added the clamps, it kind of started making the glue seep out from between the cracks. And that was annoying me, but I still added the same amount just because I want to make sure that they don't fall apart. So I'm going to actually add two clamps, one to each side. And you'll see that I'm pushing the shelf back because I do want it to line up evenly. I don't want it to be uneven. So I just continued stacking my shelves using the wood glue and the clamps. And again, I'm not stacking them straight up or side by side. I feel like stacking them this way gives them a more um artsy feel to it instead of it just being the boring side by side um layout and this actually gives me more space to work with because not only am i just using the four crates that i have but i actually have made um little cubbies and then i have the little openings on the side as well that i can use
and there you have it now to dry so I decided for my spices I was going to use these two pick holders I like the little bottles and then they also allow me to sprinkle uh, most of the Dollar Tree bottles that I was looking at you know they were bigger they were glass and I don't want glass I prefer the plastic So I'm just going to go in and fill these up with different spices. Um, I chose to buy a couple spices just because I felt like I needed a few more. Um, I don't really cook with a lot of spices, so mine are very basic. So I am using these labels again, um, well stickers, and you see they have like garlic, spices, onions, salt. Um, initially, I had hoped to use some different spice labels, but the ones I ordered from Amazon didn't come in on time before I could make, uh, finish making this, and I really wanted to get the video out there. So I just went ahead and used what I had. But the ones that I have coming in pretty much have individual names for like each seasoning. I mean, if you could think of the seasoning, they will have it. Now, one thing I did not like is these tops. Did not want to go back down easy. So I ended up having to struggle with them for a while. And also with these labels, I ended up having to use some of the same names. Um, but like I said again, that didn't matter to me because I know I have some different labels coming. But I just wanted to finish the video and give it, give you an idea of how it would look.
So I also picked up this little, these little travel jars. They're three piece. They're clear and they're white. I also picked those up, um, just to put like some bullion cubes, some salt, just some other little knickknacks. Because you see, I did add some. Well, not add, but the way I did my rack, I have some extra little um, cubby space, so I wanted to add something to it. So I couldn't find any more labels that I can use. So I left um, one or two blank until later, which I'm going to be taking these off anyway, so it don't matter. And those are my finished spices. I also picked up these little chalkboard tags, and I'm not going to be using all of them. I just need one. And I just hot glued it to the top of my spice rack so that I can add the word spices to it. Now, I'm going to go in with this foam board to add a backing to my rack. And I'm not going to cut out each cubby hole. I'm just going to use this um, razor to cut out. Well, not even cut out, but to trace where I will be cutting it. So, that, um, I just feel like this backing is going to give it like a whole new high-end, more expensive feel than just leaving it plain like that. And of course, I'm going to just use my hot glue and add it all to the back of the cubes. And then stick my foam board down. 
and wherever the glue doesn't stick, I'll go back in and add some more hot glue to it. So I'm just making sure that no um, hot glue has seeped anywhere. And then I'm going in and making sure there's enough glue in the corners of the shelves just so that it doesn't move. And I really like the way this turned out with the foam board on the back. Now I didn't record it, but I did go ahead and add black paint to the sides of the foam board. Again, just to blend it in with the, the little shelves. And there you have it, my cute little spice rack. I took and added that little plant that I got the other day from Dollar Tree. And I still have two empty cubbies that I can use in the future. And I have to get a chalkboard pen to add spices to my little chalkboard sign. But there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I really enjoyed making this. Thank you guys for watching. And be sure to subscribe. See you guys next time.